We are hearing from the neighbor who was at the center of a standoff in Blue River yesterday after being shot at by the alleged suspect. Yeah, the suspect is now facing several criminal charges. KEZI 9 News reporter Sarah Hurwitz is live in the studio with the neighbor's account of what happened. Sarah? Well, people who live at Woodland Cottages say it was a chaotic scene last night as police swarmed the area. A neighbor shooting at people and a highway shut down for several hours. One of the men who was shot at says he had a split second reaction as the gun was pointed at him. A peaceful morning as the sun glistens on the Mackenzie River, just a day after bullets flew through this cottage community. Heard his sliding window open and looked back behind my shoulder and seen a hand with a gun come out the window, so I dove onto the deck and belly crawled down him around the other side of the house. Now enjoying the sun sitting on the deck where he dodged bullets, Reno Clark says he's confused why his neighbor's 60-year-old David Shopta went into a rage. I'd like to know why he got that uh, we got over. If we'd had words or something prior to, I'd understand it, but we never had no kind of words or anything. Oregon State Police responded to a call just before 2 Tuesday afternoon after Shop Top was allegedly shooting at or near neighbors. The SWAT team showed up as he barricaded himself for hours, throwing flash grenades into his home. He was in this in the middle cabin here. It's pretty messed up right now. The property owner, Ray Hoffman, is now dealing with the mess left behind by his tenant. This is the cabin where David Shopta lived. Crime tape, broken windows, and shattered glass and other items strewn about the yard. I had a confrontation with him the night before when he was up here with his pickup tearing up the driveway and racing around in there. I told him to knock it off. Over the last week, people who live at Woodlands Cottage say something just seemed off with Shop Ta. It may have all come to a head Tuesday, leaving this destruction behind and a community shaken. And Shopta has been evicted from Woodlands Cottages. He was taken into custody last night after several hours of barricading himself inside his cabin. Please say that he did indicate he was having a mental health crisis. He also faces several charges, including unlawful use of a weapon, menacing, reckless endangering, and pointing a firearm at another. Live in the studio, Sarah Hurwitz, KEZI 9 News.